Hello everyone. I am Mohammad Safraz from Mechanical Department, Assistant Professor, uh, working in a Indian College, Chalabar. Today we are going to start a lecture or subject power generation. The subject code of this subject is 9 me 3 and today we are going to discuss the Rankine cycle. It's a very important part of this subject. So first of all, let's go through that uh, we are uh, discussing uh, in this slide definition that is uh, what is Rankine cycle and second is principle in which principles work construction then working <coughs> and energy analysis efficiency then idle Rankine cycle what is this idle Rankine cycle and then a more complicated cycle that is with use of Rankine cycle what we are making and the next is combined cycle so let's start definition what is Rankine cycle Rankine cycle is nothing but it's a modification of Carnot cycle as you know that Carnot cycle in a previous uh, class we <coughs> learned about the Carnot cycle Carnot cycle is a cycle which is best uh, which is working work on a two different uh, temperature and it's a type of heat engine basically which is used for producing work so first of all in <coughs> Rankine cycle is uh, main question comes in our mind that What's the use of this Rankine cycle? Rankine cycle is basically used for uh, power production. It is used in a steam power plant for power, uh, for generation of power, that is electricity. And uh, this cycle is uh, developed by the Rankine. That's why this cycle is called Rankine cycle. So, in the next slide, we see the principle. At the basically, work on a principle of heat engine. That uh, heat engine that is work on a uh, to different temperature and uh, uh, power is generated so it's work on a principle of heat engine which convert chemical energy into the thermal energy of the power generation steam that's a chemical energy of fuel is converted into thermal energy of steam and then uh, this thermal energy is converted to mechanical energy uh, and this mechanical energy converted to electrical energy the next slide we see the let's see the construction and uh, basically this cycle is consists of mainly four main component first is steam boiler second steam turbine third steam condenser and a fourth is feed pump feed pump is nothing but it's a simple pump and as we know that about the what is turbine boiler turbine, uh, pump and condenser as uh, we have learned in a previous uh, semester that's a boiler and boiler is nothing but it's a simple device which is used for converting uh, uh, which is used for converting water into steam and so let's start the cycle you can see uh, in this cycle there is a TH diagram and uh, uh, second is a, a basic cycle of uh, this kind uh, first here the cycle is started from pump 1 to 2 is a pump and in a TH diagram we can see 1 to 2 is a pump it's a as entropy pump because the entropy is constant in one to two process so s1 equal to s2 in a pump and here in a pump we need to do some work that uh, pump is uh, governed by our uh, uh, pump is dry by uh, to uh, electricity so we need to do some work here next is 2c3 is a boiler you can see in a 2c3 boiler in a boiler heat addition taking place so it's a constant pressure process 2c3 is a constant pressure in a TS diagram you can see 2c3 is a constant pressure process here heat addition taking place basically heat is uh, added here and the next is 3 is a 4 that is turbine we know that turbine in basically a simple device which is used for uh, <coughs> which is used for uh, genetic power so turbine uh, 3 is 4 is a steam turbine where the steam is uh, faded and uh, dry, uh, used to drive the, this turbine and turbine is converted to simple uh, armature or shaft shaft is converted to armature here the when the turbine is rotated shaft is rotated and when the shaft is rotated the armature rotated and uh, steam generation taking place and for, say 4 to 1 4 to 1 is a condenser you can see the condenser the basic purpose of condenser is to <coughs> is to uh, condense the steam because the steam uh, after the turbine the steam is some part of steam and some part is liquid water so we need to fully convert this steam 
uh, before going to the pump because <coughs> in a pump we can't uh, go to st um, uh, we can't dr uh, drive to mix of water and steam uh, water and uh, steam that's why a condenser is used and uh, in a condenser we can see that uh, heat to <coughs> heat to rejection is taking place that is q out is there so it's also a constant pressure process for two one okay so uh, Thanks uh, for this slide. We'll continue in the next lecture. Thank you.